countries that we're covering are Lesotho, South Africa, and Namibia. And basically, we, we've made great achievements in all the countries in terms of empowering the local leaders with, uh, with ICTs. I think basically now we've managed to train most of the personnel. We've managed to establish the correspondence network for all the radio stations. We've also managed even to, to support them with the basic ICT equipment that they, that they need. So most of the radio stations at the moment, we can say they've really improved and uh, even their programming has improved. They're also able even to monitor their own, their, their own programs as well as in order to take the collective uh, measures where, depending on the feedback that they get from the people. I think for, for, for South Africa, basically it has been the issue of uh, you know, using ICT equipment, training the people to have the skills to use the ICT equipment, as well as the establishment of the correspondence network, uh, which I think for, for, for all the countries, because now because of these networks, they are actually able to cover you know a, a wider area. Now the people can actually cover you know uh, stories from uh, a, a wider a, a wider area. And the other, the other thing is in terms of uh, you know the use of ICTs, now they are able to to report you know from anywhere. You know it's you know instead of using the tape recorder where you have to record and then you you know, you travel back to the studio. Now they can actually, you know, they record and they send the information straight away to the studio. Uh, so, you know, it has really improved the way the radio stations are operated. If you look at a radio station like Mafeteng in Lesotho, for example, uh, now that they've got this ICT equipment, it's the only community radio station in Lesotho, and now, you know, uh, they are able to communicate, to interact with the community members because of the ICT equipment, they're able to get feedback from the radio stations. And for them, if you talk to them, they will tell you now we are actually able to be able to respond to the needs of the communities all the time. The main issue that we had was uh, concerning monitoring, the weekly monitoring, where at first we wanted to use you know, an institution to do the monitoring for all the countries, and then we had problems with the company that was supposed to monitor, and then we then had to introduce focal points to monitor for, for, for each radio station. In a way, it was a blessing in disguise because now the radio stations are actually able to monitor their own work. So that's the, the, the only challenge uh, that I could say we, we really faced. And then, of course, the other radio stations that were really uh, oh. not so conversant with ICT equipment, where we actually need to start afresh. For example, we can go for a training workshop. When you are there, there's only one computer, meaning we really had to provide, you know, the equipment or if you go there and you're not prepared you get there there's no internet for example there's no connectivity and you actually want to train these people how to use Facebook for example so those are some of the you know the, the minor challenges that we that we face for, for example if we are talking of internet for example we ended up having to buy the modems you know you go with your modem and then you try to, 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 to use a, we have a radio station in, in Namibia for example a, in the area called Tsungwe Tra Radio which is actually partly owned by the national broadcast. When you go there, there is no internet and sometimes electricity is a problem. But I've also managed to, to engage the national broadcaster to provide some of the equipment, you know, make sure that there's power, I mean, the power through generators and also to try and give them the motive so that we could also, you know, be connected all the time. I think in, in as much as we have really tried to empower the community radio stations, uh, these local radio stations, they still need support. Uh, it would be good for us to sort of continue with some of the programs, as, as, as some of the activities, including the workshops, because, you know, because of this project, there are also instances where the correspondents or the presenters, the journalists who have been trained, they've become so marketable, and now they've moved to the other radio stations. So what it means is we still need to make sure that we continue training the new ones who are coming on board, while at the same time trying to make sure that the radio stations are sustainable in the future so that they can also be able to provide or to offer you know, a competitive salaries to, to, to keep their staff. But I think for now, of course, we have, you know, we have scaled greater heights, but I think we still need to continue supporting the same radio stations, uh, probably for a year or two. And then uh, maybe now focusing on how they can uh, become self-sustainable.